Huh? Where did I end up now? How is that possible? Shana? Ah, oh, those notes. Does he have nothing better to do than create disorder amongst our belongings? And I already have one. Shana doesn't seem to be home. The autumn forest isn't even charted on the globe. Corona is far away. Hello, you two. Enko, look! The clown's back! How would I know? I've been in Shana's cabin, but she wasn't there. Why? What time is it? I have no idea. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> What's that got to do with it, he asks? What a greenhorn. Oh, come on, Rav! How is he supposed to know? Supposed to know what? Shana's an oracle, a magic being from another world. You can only meet her at certain times of day. At half past noon! Rubbish! Not half past noon, you idiot. Uh, but, but something's supposed to happen at half past noon. Nothing's happening at half past noon. The only thing that might happen at half past noon is the emergence of the first little hint of when Shana will turn up. And when will she finally turn up? In order to discover that, you'd better wait until half past noon, don't you think? I hate you. When can I meet Shana again? Definitely not half past noon, right? Right. And what will happen at half past noon? Why so impatient? Why don't you just wait until then? How typical of pets. Just can't hold their feet still. See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. It shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? We believe so. All right, all right. Do a sleeping giant a favor? What's that supposed to mean?
light shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? Now the light shines onto this note here. It reads, the colors come back into the world. Hmm? me oh that that was me actually he shall approach I see only a child in the costume of a clown I'm a carney the carney is lost my name is Shadwick and I'm not lost I'm looking for Shana I am Shana yeah I I already figured that. So, he's able to use his brain then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? A uh, chesky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the chesky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it, it's true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough. I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? He was attacked by the Asgill. Hmm. The Asgill have never advanced into the Autumn Forest before. Is the world in such a bad condition already? This is indeed disturbing news. What now? Can't you help him some way? If he really is a Chasky, he will be able to help himself. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chasky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. My dreams are meaningful too. He is not in the position to decide that. All right, then you tell me if they mean anything. After all, you're the expert, right? I am an oracle. I see things before they happen. I do not see me giving comfort to a clown that slept badly. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a Whispering Stone. What does he say now? The Whispering Stone is with us in the Autumn Forest. He shall show it to Shana. Well, I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. <laughs> 